So what's the difference between an LPN, an RN, an ADN, and a BSN? That's what's coming up in the next video. Stay tuned. Hey, it's your girl Leek. Welcome to my channel. Welcome back to my channel. And today's topic is the difference between LPNs, RNs, ADNs, BSN, the whole jazz. So your LPNs is your licensed practical practical nurses. Lice say this correctly, Leek. Here we go. Licensed practical nursing. Say that three times fast. Um, so your LPNs went through a practical diploma program. Basically, they get a diploma at the end of 12 months, and then they take an exam called the NCLEX PN exam. After the exam, they register to be a practical nurse in their state. The median salary for this job is about $45,000, which breaks down to about $22 an hour. And obviously it's gonna be more or less depending on your state, depending on the place you go, all that jazz matters. And the scope of practice is your basic nursing care. It's gonna be changing dressings, inserting catheters, taking blood pressures, changing bandages. In some states they even allow you to do IV drips. Um, I'm sure there's a couple other things that they can do. If you know things that LPNs can do that I didn't mention in this video, please comment below and tell me what else LPNs can do so we can educate everybody. Next up on the list is your RN, so a registered nurse. A registered nurse is actually an ADN degree and a BSN degree. So ADN degree is an associate's degree in nursing while your BSN stands for a bachelor's degree in nursing. That's what the biggest difference is when it comes to your RN degrees. Associates two years, BSN four years. So the salary between your RN nurses are gonna be the same. In some hospitals, they actually give the BSN more money, but for the most part, they make about 70,000 a year, which breaks down to about $33 an hour. The scope of practice is the important part. Between the two, they are the same. Supervising CNAs and LPNs, educate patients, perform diagnostic tests, analyze test results, IV infusion, and much more. Honestly, there's a lot more, but if you know what they are, please put those in the comments below so we can educate people out here. So the most important thing to know about nursing in general is that by 2020, the Institute of Medicine is trying to make 80% of nursing staff BSN qualified nurses, which means it may be harder for you as an LPN or an ADN to get a job in a magnet hospital. Not to say that you won't get a job, just saying that you might have to look a little harder than a graduate out of a BSN program. All right, well that's it for this video. Now you know the difference between an LPN, an RN, an ADN, a BSN, all that jazz. Make sure you comment below, like and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram, a leak, and leak out.